Kochi the city in the South Indian state of Kerala, was our departure point to Jaipur. The Cochin International Airport homes an art gallery displaying different dance forms of the state. Katakali is one of the major classical dance form of the state, which is a story play genre of art. Apart from Katakali, the dance forms Mohiniyattam and Tayam are also popular in the state. group of four friends, boarded the flight to Jaipur within short time. The Indigo flight to Jaipur, started speeding through the runway and in short time, we were seeing the airport complex and surroundings from air. The domestic and international terminals of the airport, together has a build-up area of 2 million square feet and is equipped with power handling capacity of 4,000 incoming and 4,000 outgoing passengers. Chin International Airport is the world's first airport, which is fully powered by solar energy. The eco-friendly initiative of the airport won international accolades including the Champions of the Earth Award, 2018 from United Nations. Kochi is known as the financial, commercial and industrial capital of Kerala. The airport is situated in the outskirts of the city and the areas surrounding the airport is covered with lush greenery throughout the year. After few hours of flying, announcement from the pilot informed us that we have entered the skies of Jaipur. Arrival time of the flight at Jaipur was towards noon, and the sun was shining bright over the skies. Slowly our flight started descending towards our destination, Jaipur International Airport. clearly see the dry land below, which clearly indicated that the temperature at land was soaring high. The urban infrastructure started appearing below, and soon we landed at the airport. We rushed to Jaipur railway station, where we had to take a two-hour train to the nearby town, Sawai Madhapur. Sawai Madhapur is the gateway to Rantambore National Park, which is a tiger reserve, and famous for its large tiger population. Our travel agent, Mr. Pratik Samath had made all arrangements for game drives and accommodations at Rantam Ball. Rantam Ball National Park Homes, Rantam or Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is believed to have commenced construction during the mid of 10th century, and continued for a few centuries after that. 
The park was the hunting grounds of Maharajas of Jaipur, until the time of India's independence. We started our Antambore days with the hope of sighting tigers and other wild animals. As per our request, fully opened jeep which was customized for photographers was allotted to us for the game drive. Due to peak summer, the vegetation inside the park was dry, and green leaves could be seen only above the treetops. The temperature inside the national park during noon was toggling around 45 degrees Celsius. Heavy dust from the muddy tracks added to the trouble created by spiking temperatures. Summers are typically the best time to spot tigers in the wild, as due to scarcity of water inside the jungle, they walk towards water holes and spend good amount of time in the adjoining areas too. We were blessed with sightings of fair number of tigers, other wildlife species like leopards, sloth bears, different owls and birds, sambar deer, and so on. We returned back to Jaipur from Rantambore with sweet memories and experiences of the wilderness. Jaipur is the capital and the largest city of the Indian state named Rajasthan. After completing the hotel check-in formalities, we started our journey heading towards the heritage attractions in the city. The modern part of the city, through which we were traveling, had wide roads filled with greenery all along the path. On the way is the office of Jaipur Development Authority, which plays an integral role in town planning and environmental development of Jaipur. It was one of the earliest planned cities of modern India, designed by Vijayadao Patakaria. On 6 July 2019, UNESCO World Heritage Committee inscribed Jaipur, the pink city of India, among its World Heritage Sites. After a short drive through the pink city, we reached our first destination, the Hawa Mahal. Hawamaha was built in 1799 by the poet king, Sawai Pratap Singh, as a summer retreat for him and his family. This monument was built with red and pink sandstones, keeping in line with other famous landmarks of the city, which is aptly tagged as the, Pink City. The design of the building showcases an excellent blend of Hindu Rajput architecture, with that of the Islamic Mughal architecture. 
The front elevation, as seen from the street, is like a honeycomb with small portholes. Many people see the Hawa Mahal from the street and think it is the front of the palace, but it is really the backside of the palace building. Three two-storied buildings enclose a large courtyard on three sides, with the Hawa Mahal located on its eastern side. An imperial door from the city palace side, leads to the entrance of the Hawa Mahal. It is also known as the Palace of Winds, or the Palace of Breeze. This five-storied building, in the shape of Lord Krishna's crown, have 953 windows. These 953 elaborately carved windows are called charakas, some of which are made of wood. These characters were built in such a manner that, air circulates naturally through them creating venturi effect, thus air conditioning the entire structure during the hot summers. Fountains at the middle of each chamber, complemented well with the light wind flowing through the characters, thus enhancing the cooling effect of the chambers. The original intent of this lattice design was to allow royal ladies to observe everyday life and festivals, celebrated in the streets below without being seen, since they had to obey the strict rules of Purda, which forbade them from appearing in the public without face coverings. Each Chiroka has a small chamber, where one can sit and view the street. The palace houses a statue of Maharaj Sawai Pratap Singh, who built the Hawa Mahal. He was the grandson of Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh, who was the founder of Jaipur. The top two floors of the Hawa Mahal, can be accessed only through ramps. As I advanced to higher floors, I started experiencing the breeze of winds. Hawa Mahal is the tallest building in the world, that has been built without a foundation. Each of the five floors of the Hawa Mahal has a temple in it. Sharad Mandir exists on the first floor, while the Rattan Mandir with colorful glasswork is on the second floor. The width of the top three stories is that of a single room, while the first two stories have courtyards.
the brilliantly conceived design, style and construction of the Mahal, made it the favorite resort of Maharaja Jai Singh, and became famous as his masterpiece. The Mahal is maintained by the Archaeological Department of the Government of Rajasthan. While I was walking through the veranda, I noticed clouds forming in the sky and indicated that heavy rains are about to follow. I rushed out of the palace to hire a cab, before the rain starts pouring down. Jaipur is also known as the Pink City, due to the dominant color scheme of its buildings. Jaipur was founded in 1727 by the Rajput ruler Jai Singh II, who was the ruler of Amur, after whom the city is named. The construction of the city began in 1726, and took four years to complete the major roads, offices, and palaces. Jai Singh consulted several books on architecture and architects, while planning the layout of Jaipur. Jaipur was planned based on the principles of Vastu Sastra and Shilpa Sastra. During the rule of Sir Wairam Singh I, the city was painted pink to welcome Albert Edward, Prince of Wales in 1876, who later became King Edward VII, Emperor of India. The city was divided into nine blocks, two of which contained the state buildings and palaces, with the remaining seven allotted to the public. Rain has haunted me during my visits to Jaipur earlier too. During 2018, while I was on a wildlife tour at Jalana Reserve Forest, inside the city limits, rain washed away my entire toe days, and me along with my friend was fully socked inside the open safari G. Jaipur has a monsoon-influenced hot semi-arid climate with long, extremely hot summers, and short, mild to warm winters. By evening, we decided to try the street food of Jaipur from some busy streets in the city. Traveled to an area, which is a part of the Heritage City Pass and close to the Hawa Mahal, to have a look at the illuminated building at night. The part of the city was packed with vehicles and crowd during night.
We were brought to a shop named, Alley Chicken Center, by our friend, who already have been to the, the shop during his early visits too. After a quick dinner, we made our way to the street in front of Hawa Mahal. Mahal at night is entirely different view from what I saw during the day. The tourism department has illuminated the exteriors of Hawa Palace, in an attempt to promote night tourism in the city. Many tourists and cycling groups were seen in front of Hawa Mahal, to experience the monument in night light. The entire street in front of the Hawa Mahal and surroundings were illuminated, which was a real feast for our eyes. Slowly, the lights at the nearby buildings started getting dim, which indicated that it's time for us to head back to the hotel. <laughs> 